now we, we go more in deep on what we will be doing in the practice. Uh, we are going to see uh, which is the managing file of uh, the OMS uh, modeling solution. Uh, uh, well, uh, we'll give you later the, the, uh, the OMS uh, file. We will see a, a directory uh, structure like this one. You know what this directory is. How you call it? Folder, directory? Directory. Directory is okay. Because my undergrad students don't know what this directory is. So, you are graduate students or, 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 or professor or things, but. So, um, in the OMS, uh, you will see mostly uh, these four uh, this for essential. Uh, directory simulation data output and distributions. <coughs> These are uh, 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 the name is not uh, mandatory actually. You can configure OMS in order to have different directory from this one. But uh, to my knowledge, nobody try different solutions. Then you have to modify internal parameters of OMS. So. What is in simulations? Simulations contain uh, what we call the .sim file, which is the one, the one type of sim uh, file that you see. A sim file is a simulation file. is uh, the file that command the simulation you are actually doing. Say which component you are using, how the components are connected, and which the parameters are used. Uh, which are the parameters used in each simulation? Uh, there are actually other two possibilities in OMS. Uh, one we will use for sure which is dot Luca. Luca is not the Italian name for Duke, but uh, is a, an acronym from Let Us Calibrate, and um, actually is a, a type of simulation that uses uh, uh, this calibrator, which is actually a machine learning tool because it uses a genetic algorithm to find the optimal parameter uh, for, uh, for the model. And we will see, I think, next week how to use it. Uh, there is another type of uh, SIM file, .esp, uh, which allows you to, uh, to do ensemble simulation, meaning many simulation with different models or different model solution or uh, different set of parameters in order to have it, um, to evaluate different behavior what in meteorology is called ensemble simulations and each uh, the, the directory simulations can contain multiple simulation files so in the same directory you can have uh, uh, hundreds if you want simulation that uh, the drive, uh, drive hundreds of, of um, runs. Data contains file, uh, the input data usually. Uh, this data are usually CSV file. The normal, uh, uh, let's say the default is that, that this file are CSV, comma separated value. So, uh, though the in, uh, in, uh, in the OMS, uh, uh, CSU uh, have a particular formatting that we will see later, which is uh, yeah maybe a legacy that we can get rid of. But potentially uh, you can have any type of input data. We have program like Richard's equation, for instance, that use net CDF data, which is another format. We can have we uh, we can have a ASC file like. Uh, uh, ESRI grid files for uh, EMs, and uh, we can have TIFF file for, uh, uh, for instance, for satellite data. Output is the standard directory for the output. Also, here we usually uh, will use CS2 files, and uh, but uh, if your model actually is the model that, that you are building the uh, commands so how the output and the input actually are. So uh, uh, 
there, there can be different output strategies, meaning that uh, the output you can overwrite. Mm -hmm. One strategy is you simply overwrite any time you run the same simulation. The old outputs, you can number in, in sequence the outputs in the, the in a way that every output is, is uh, used. For instance, you do a simulation, then you change the parameters, and then you run again. And you don't want to overwrite the whole parameters. You can you can set uh, some flex for doing this. And we have another uh, strategy where you use the data, the, the date. Sorry, for the output. And then there is the distribution where actually there are there is the, the, the code, uh, the compile code. In this case, we are using Java. We say so. Maybe some one of you wonder why I say compile code because we use jar file and the, uh, the code is uh, uh, is byte compiled, meaning the the particular. Uh, uh, byte component that, you, that are used for the Java virtual machine. Java, for who doesn't know, is a language which is compiled, but it's not compiled to your computer or your platform. It's compiled to the Java virtual machine, which is a further layer of a, a, um, abstraction from that abstract your your hardware and uh, make. Uh, um, Possible that what we say, uh, write once, uh, run ev ev everywhere, which is not actually really true, so, but it's almost true, let's say. And uh, so, uh, inside this, uh, this you have jar file, which are the jar file are just zip file, zip file that contain the <coughs> this compiled code together, or you can have DLL dynamic linear libraries or also executable file in Windows .exe. And these are you in your project, in your OMS project you see oh, at least these four directories. Then you, you can have other directory like this one, builds. Um, and uh, in uh, builds and source, and source can contain uh, source Java files because actually inside the console that I will show you, they will show you later. Inside the console, you can do program. Uh, programming is not really easy to do programming inside the, inside the console. You can do a program like Hello World, meaning it's very simple programming, but. And, uh, but then uh, you have the JDK under, it, under the hood, and you can uh, compile the source code, which is going builds in this case. A docs make, stands for doc, the documentation. Actually, under docs or under docs Jupyter, you will find also a, a many notebooks, Jupyter notebooks. Then we will see better what, is the, what they are. Because uh, in our distribution, we used to uh, to comment uh, and uh, uh, document our our programs inside uh, uh, in, inside Jupyter. Uh, there is a file that is better that you know that it exists. This is OMS, OMS 3conf it uh, is an optional file, actually, which is located in the, in the directory uh, that, uh, and contains some particular options for, for instance, for the J2M. Here is a, for the memory management, which is quite small here. And uh, uh, here you can uh, make variation where you have your input files. So told you that simulation is a standard name, but it's not mandatory to have simulations. And you see eventually, and you, you put your changes here, and so on. And so that's all for the sim files. 